ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಏಕವಿಂಶ ಪಾಠ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಶಂಕರಿ ಮೋದಿ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತ ಕಲ್ಚರ್ ಹಾ ಮಾನವ ಜಾತೆ ಭಾಷಿತ ಚೇಷ್ಟಿತ ತದೀಯ ಪುರೋಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿ ಸೂಚಯತಿ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಶೋಸ್ ದ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಪುರೋಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಓ ಫ್ಯೂಚರ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಅಂಡ್ what is the action act so the yeah. ah, speech and act, and act uh, so you will take it as language and behavior uh, of manava jati of the species of human beings uh, indicates the uh, future progress okay but it mm. also um, is a product of uh, his past uh, learnings also in what sense are you because so, what he has learned uh, in previously that is going to reflect in his speech and his uh, current actions that's fine but then a, whatever it is it is only with the progress or anything as such is only determined by the lang- in, is determined by the social progress in a country how do you say mm-hmm. is man uh, uh, has man progressed or not how do you mm-hmm. answer it it's only the development of language and literature and the culture in what changes have been brought in this uh, uh, culture and language that's what you will look at right mm-hmm. so that indicates the progress in thinking progress in nadai udai bhavana illala there is a progress is because of that nadai is walk udai we say is uh, for shobha's sake i have to translate udai is more like dressing and bhavana is more what you think so these are reflected in the language and the uh, actions mm-hmm. ಭಾಷಾ ಪ್ರಾಧಾನ್ಯ ಆರ್ಯ ದ್ರಾವಿಡ ವರ್ಗೀಯ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಮೇನ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ಕೈಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಯ ಆರ್ಯ ದ್ರಾವಿಡ ವರ್ಗೀಯ ಸೊ ಟೂ ಕ್ಲಾಸಸ್ ದ ನಾರ್ತ್ ಇಂಡಿಯನ್ no i would uh, um, don't uh, do it as north indian and south indian it is arya and dravida Dravida. So, Dravida uh-huh. is not uh, necessarily only South Indian. Don't uh, classify it like South Indian and North Indian because you have influences of those. This is a language category that we are talking about. Okay. Okay. okay? Yeah. Adhika this is an older Adhika. classification. Again, this is a very okay. older classification. Arya can be the Indo-Aryan languages is what they are trying to say and the Dravidian uh, uh, class. Okay. Uh-huh. Hmm. ಆಧುನಿಕ ಕಾಲೆ ದಕ್ಷಿಣ ಭಾರತ ಪರಿಗಣ್ಯಮಾನ ತಮಿಳ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಕನ್ನಡ ಮಲಯಾಳ ಭಾಷಾ ದ್ರಾವಿಡ ವರ್ಗೀಯ ಚೇತ್ ಉತ್ತರ ಭಾರತ ಹಿಂದಿ ಗುಜರಾತಿ ಮರಾಠಿ ಬೆಂಗಲಿ ಬೆಂಗಾಲಿ ಓರಿಯಾ ಅಸಮಿ ಪ್ರಭೃತಿ ಭಾಷಾ ಆರ್ಯವರ್ಗೀಯ ಇಫ್ ದ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ಕರೆಂಟ್ ಡೇಸ್ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಇನ್ ಸೌತ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಸಚ್ ಆಸ್ ತಮಿಳ್ ತೆಲುಗು ಕನ್ನಡ ಮಲಯಾಳಂ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಪರಿಗಣ್ಯಮಾನ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ counted um, as the south indian languages mm, um, yeah. the these four languages that which are counted as south indian languages are um, belong to the class of dravida language belong to the class of dravida vargiya bhasha and those uh, counted among the north indian uh, languages such as hindi gujarati marathi bengali uh, oriya assami kashmiri also uh, they will all become aryavargiya bhasha mm. so prabhriti uh, is etc you can mm. include all of those also you have kashmiri, punjabi kashmiri Punjab. there are many other dongri enalamo irukku kintu etasam moolam 
தாவத் பிராச்சீன பாரதிய பாஷா சம்ஸ்கிருதம் ஏவ ஃபார் ஆல் தீஸ் லாங்குவேஜஸ் த ரூட் லாங்குவேஜ் த ஏன்ஷியன்ட் அண்ட் த ரூட் லாங்குவேஜ் இஸ் சம்ஸ்கிருதம் ஓன்லி ஸ்வரூபம் விவிதம் இட் ஹாஸ் டூ கைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஸ்வரூபம் இட் ஹாஸ் டூ ஃபார்ம்ஸ் வைதிகம் லௌகிகம் சேதி த வேதிக் சம்ஸ்கிருதம் அண்ட் லைக் லௌகிகம் இஸ் கிளாசிக்கல் சம்ஸ்கிருதம் ஓகே வைதிக சம்ஸ்கிருதம் ரிக்யஜு சாம சாம அதர்வ அதர்வன வேதேஷு தத் அந்ததையா பிரசித்தாசு உபனிஷத்சு ச உபலபியதே த வைதிக சம்ஸ்கிருதம் இஸ் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் த ஃபோர் வேதாஸ் ரிக் யஜூர் சாம அந்த அதர்வன வேதாஸ் அண்ட் த உபனிஷத்ஸ் தட் ஃபால் இன்சைட் தோஸ் ஃபோர் த ஃபேமஸ் தத் அந்ததையா not inside uh-huh. antam is here you take it as end as vedanta no no vedanta is the last portion of vedas vedas so upanishad is called vedanta because you have three sections as karma kandam and one section as gnana kandam so there are four sections and these are like appendix so these come at the end of the vedas so you have samhita brahmana aranyaka then you have upanishad so it is the atadantataya which means at the end of the vedas the the uh, popular upanishads are also found in uh, vaidika samskritam yeah or vaidika samskritam is found in all this sorry yeah. ah, so that but antataya is also like uh, um, it need not be all in this context it is at the end of the vedas but antataya can be uh, like uh, like uh, also inside as part also. of right or inside also right? antaha is inside so you will have antar something should be there okay okay antastaya then or something like that you know i am not sure if that word even exists but you need antar is within and uh, anta can mean end yeah, yeah. it is not within mm-hmm. but, but in this case it is antata it akaranta padam right and then your trutiya right ah that right. is antasya bhavah antata antata and then antataya it trutiya rupam correct right and that's probably coming in almost like uh, adverbial almost antataya uh, vidyate iti mm உபலபியே லௌகிகம் ராமாயணாதிஷு பாகவதாதி புராணேஷு ரகுவம்சாதி காவியேஷு சாக்குந்தலாதி நாடகேஷு சூத்திரசாஸ்திரேஷு பிரயுக்தம் திருஷ்யே கிளாசிக்கல் ஓர் லௌகிகம் இஸ் ஃபவுண்ட் இன் ராமாயண அண்ட் மகாபாரதம் used in in these all these things mm. uh, uh, such as ramayana and mahabharata itihasa dvayam and bhagavata uh, purana and other eight, uh, total 18 puranas and uh, raghuvamsha etc there are yeah, more than, than 18 puranas but yeah, so uh, puranas uh, like bhagavatam etc uh, puranas like bhagavatam etc kavyams like uh, raghuvamsha etc natakam dramas like shakuntalam and in uh, sutram shastra granthesh பிரயுக்தம் திருஷ்யே இன் சூத்திரம் இஸ் பேசிக்லி லைக் அஷ்டாத்தியாய சூத்திரம் ஆர் நோ பட் தட் லைக் வைதிக சம்ஸ்கிருதம் ரைட் நோ இட் இஸ் லௌகிக சம்ஸ்கிருதம் லௌகிக சம்ஸ்கிருதம் ஓகே சூத்திர கிரந்தஸ் கேன் ஆல்சோ மீன் பிரம்ம சூத்திரஸ் யூ ஹேவ் ஜெய்மினிய தர்ம சூத்திர நியாய சூத்திர சோ எனிதிங் விச் இஸ் பிரஸ் யோக சூத்திரஸ் எனிதிங் விச் இஸ் பிரசன்ட் இன் தி ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் எ சூத்திர சூத்திரம் இஸ் அஃபோரிசம்ஸ் ரைட் they are all falling under the laukika samskritam category only but mm-hmm. then why do we say chandasi ah chandasi is in the vedas in the vedic literature this word will apply so you will find this word only in vedic literature which means he clearly states he doesn't say iti laukiki iti tasya there is no word in ashtadhyayi which means okay. it is by default it is applicable in okay. laukika samskritam wherever it has to be applied to vedic samskritam he says chandasi bahulam ityadikam okay okay uh, 
जनानां भाषा प्रवाह काले काले रूपांतरम प्राप्नोति सो दट मीन्स लाइक सूत्रम इज नॉट अट ऑल वी के नॉट ಸಕ್ಯಾಯಿಕ <laughs> Vedam occupies a higher position than these Shastra Granthas. Shastras are interpretations of uh, um, the Vedas in their own uh, methodology to uh, give out their philosophy. That's all. So it is a man-made thingy. Okay, that's why they are just Tulyam. They are not exactly Veda. <laughs> Where do you hear Veda Tulyam? I have not heard that. Shastram is not Veda Tulyam. No, no, the Sutram. Sutram can be, they, for them it can be Vedam, but it's not like that. Even there you have uh, five different interpretations of that Sutram itself. So if it is Vedatulyam, then what are you going to take it? Whereas for Vedas, there is only one Shayana Bhashim, which you take. Right? No, there may be interpretations, there may be other things, but uh, everybody takes only one particular interpretation as the most valid thingy. right mm. whereas if you take brahma sutras some people consider uh, ramanuja's uh, vyakhyanam as the best some people say gaudapadi bhashyam or uh, you know some people say Sh- uh, shivadvaita is the best where apedikshita has written one so it depends on what matam you want to follow and how you want to interpret it so it's still ga- um, uh, a man made sutras so okay. whereas vedam is apurushay okay. so that oh, occupies a different things, category ಜನಾಂ ಭಾಷಾ ಪ್ರವಾಹ ಕಾಲೇ ಕಾಲೆ ರೂಪಾಂತರ ಪ್ರಾಪ್ನೋತಿ ದ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಸ್ಪೋಕನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಟೈನ್ಸ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ಮೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಭಾಷಾ ಪ್ರವಾಹ ಸೊ ದ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಲಿಟ್ರಲಿ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಆರ್ ಹೌ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಶನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಟಿವ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ವೇಜ್ ಫ್ಲೋ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಚೇಂಜಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಪರಿನಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಪರಿಮಾರ್ಜಿತ ಭಾಷಾ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ದೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸಾಹಿತ್ಯ ಸೃಷ್ಟಿ ಸಂಭವತಿ Uh, only for um, a limited number of uh, limited and uh, parimarjita cleaned up uh, version of uh, languages um, sahitya srishti the uh, the creation of sahityas or la- uh, literature patterns only in these kind certain languages that are countable and um, no a parinishtita is more like established well established language and uh, uh, which has a very clean structure only in that language there can be a possibility of uh, creating literature okay oh. I, this is not i won't take it as as uh, pakka as this okay even um there uh, there can be folk uh, uh, language there can be small small languages which do not have a proper grammar structure or anything and yet people can compose what they want right so that's how it should have also come about at some point so mm-hmm. today's sahityam we create if it is a well established language we don't create a new language and try to do a sahityam for it like those natupura padalgal and all ನಾಟುಪುರಪಾಡಲ್ಗಳೋಕ್ಯೂಸಿಕ್ಲಾಮೇ <laughs> the spread is is very slow very low very low because if there had been a very established structure people more people could learn it easily and parimarjita mm-hmm. means that the various uh, alternative forms have been cut down simply because 
the language is spread wider and if you want more people to understand what you write as Sahityam and appreciate it, then these two aspects would help in, in the creation of Sahityam. I think it, this refers more to Sanskritam because the creation of uh, Sahityam as such and what is that Sahityam? You need someone, a creator and you also need four people to understand it. Only when there is a wider population, yeah. this sort of an ecosystem can exist. Yeah. That is what you're trying to say, right? Yeah, that's, that's uh, it. That's it, please. Yeah. Okay. So the Parimarjida does not mean like flaws and all rectified, uh, that kind of uh, thing? I, I won't say because if you if there are a lot of people have this idea that prakritam is not it has a lot of flaws whereas sanskritam is a good uh, but you have more beautiful uh, creations in prakritam than in sanskritam or uh, either way you know there are a lot of beautiful creations in prakritam also so it has nothing to do with the uh, faults being wiped away but as he says you know it's about the the way it goes beyond certain dialects and there is a formalized version of that language which is being represented by the literary society. Evam Vaidiki Bhasha Kadachit Janair Vyavahriyamana Sati Yada Parinishtita Asit Tada Tasyam Veda Sahityam Pradur Bhutam like the, um, Janeir, uh, ah, so Vaidiki Bhasha, the uh, Vedic the, language. Vedic language, sometime when it was being used by the people, then hmm. it became uh, Parinishtita Asit. Um, uh, became well established. Became well established uh, and then it became uh, uh, Veda Sahityam Pradur Bhutam. Then uh, the uh, literature of Vedas. Um, were created or uh, appeared. Okay. Yes, sprung up or appeared. Ah, so, Vyavakriyamana here is? Shanaj uh, Pratyayanta Strilinga Rupam. That's okay. why it's uh, Vyavakriyamana. What is the Dhatu and uh, Upasarga here? Hru uh, Dhatu um, Upasarga is Vi Vyavakriyamana. Vi Ava Hru. 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 So, so Vyavaharati are... is one who uh, talks. Saha Vyavaharati or uh, uh, he talks, right? Harati is actually taking, but Vyavaharati is talking, conversing. So, here it is a conversing. Uh, then you put Vyavahriyate in Karmani, then there is a Shanach. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. So, when the Vedic language, when it was uh, uh, in the state being of spoken, spoken, being by communicated, different people uh, hmm. as a spoken language, then uh, it became well established, and then the Veda Sahityam and all sprung up. Tasmi Neva Kale Samanya Janaihi Vyavakriya Manam Manam Bashaya. Vyavakriya Manam. Vyavahriya manam bhashaya ha rupantaram prakritam iti pratitam. Uh, at the same time, uh, the language that was spoken by common people uh, attained a transformation of that language and became uh, well established or became uh, popular. Well known, famous prakritam. as prakritam. Yeah, yeah it became, mm. it became popularized as the prakritam. So what they are saying is Veda uh, Sahitya, Veda Vaidika uh, Bhasha and Prakritam sort of have a similar uh, time frame of uh, 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 Utpati. Yeah, because yeah. as soon as people appeared in the world, then they should have a Prakritam. And something would have been there. No, so, Vaidika right. Bhasha was also existing at the time when the common people were all talking in one particular Bhasha and that slowly solidified and uh, uh, became, formed another Rupam which is called Prakritam. Yeah, as, uh -huh. as soon as the sign languages disappeared and uh, spoken uh -huh. languages came in the scene, then itself the Prakritam should have happened. Uh, yeah, something. Uh -huh. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Yataha tat prakriti nam uh, jananam bashitam asita. Because mm. uh, it was the language, uh, la the na naturally spoken language of the people. Mm. 
No, it was the language spoken by the Prakriti Jana, subjects. Prakriti here is th those who are common people. Oh, prakriti nam jana nam is prakriti is the adjective for jana here. Correct. Hmm. So prakriti nam jana nam bhashitam tatu iti karanatu prakritam iti tasya nama. Because it comes from prakriti, nature. English la lay people have been spoken. Ah, oh, the layman. Yes. Okay, okay. Yevam mm. vaidik. Uh, so I don't understand still. Yatas tat prakriti nam jana nam bahashita. You take this. The, take yeah, this yat portion in the beginning. In Vedas and all they like that. Prakriti nam jana nam means non Vedic people. Maybe non Vedic people. Uh, or those who were speaking in the Vaidika Bhasha were confining it to some court language or that Yagashala, whatever, you know, that sort of a language might have been different. Whereas what they commonly came out of that place of their workplace and spoke, it, the language would be different, right? It's like speaking court language versus, versus normal English at home. Okay, okay. Hmm. Evam Vaidika Samskritam Bimbam Chet Prakritam Tasya Pratibimbam Chaya Iti Siddham. So if Vaidika Vedic Samskritam was the main uh, main Bimbam and Pratibimbam is like a, uh, the Bimbam is the image form. So image. Yeah, in a form, if it was the yeah. main form, the Prakritam is the sh uh, shadow or the reflection of it. Yeah, Pratibimbam uh, is reflection. Hmm. Huh. Uh, Vaidika Samskrita Meva Pashat Laukika Samskrita Rupam Abhajat. So the Vedic Samskrita language only uh, uh, got the Rupam of the Laukika Samskrita. Yes. It became that. Uh, Prakrita Mapi Pali Iti Apara Nama Deyam Pradesh Bhedena Binatam Gatam. That much only I'll do first. Prakritam also got Pali, etc. Different names like. No, it got a different name called Pali. So Prakritam Api Apara Nama Deyam Pali Iti Apara Nama Deyam, which also had another name called Pali. Pradesh Bedena Bhinnatam Gatam. Yeah, with the difference in the region, a regional, a region, uh, different regions got different names. Uh, one such name is Pali. No, Pali and Prakrit are, uh, pa okay, so uh, Pali is actually in today's styling, the way you read, the, the way the language of Prakrit is and the way language of Pali is, both are very different. Okay, so, but what he says in this sentence is Prakritam api Pali iti aparanama dheyam. Prakritam and Pali are just uh, name differences. Like I say, Samudraha, huh. Sagaraha. Huh. They are synonymous. Synonymous. So, it then it got differences like binnatam gatam it achieved different characters different rupam like dialects depending on the pradesham the like you have shaurasini magadhi the uh, each province got its own prakritam Variations. and they say it is also pa pali but it is not pali pali is completely Buddhist, uh, uh, it got adopted by the Buddhist and Buddhist canons were written in Pali more than Prakrit. Prakrit got used by the Hindus there then, by the Sanatana Dharma, okay. more of it. Yeah. Pali was a... never used here. Yeah. Nepal is where there is. Uh, more that side. Hmm. Huh. Tasya cha... Apabhramsha rupani yani jatani tebhyeva adhunika bhashaha hindi prabhrutayaha uttara bharatiya sanjataha. Uttara bharatiyaha sanjataha. From that, only from that Pali language only. Tasya iti atra, we will take it as prakrita, prakritam. So prakritasya. Pali is lingam, so it is not that. So, Prakritasya uh, Apabhramsha Rupani Yani Jatani, uh, the various uh, um, changes. Corrupted that, language. Corrupted Apabhramsha language. is actually corrupted. Uh, Maruvi. Corrupted forms. Hmm? 
இஸ் இட் கர கரெக்டட் ஆர் மருவின மருவினதுன்ற நம்ம வந்து தமிழ்ல ரொம்ப இதுவா சொல்றோம் but dignified so, yeah, positive yeah it's a positive, positive outlook and it is a very more uh, lovely way of looking at the uh, dialect soft and version yeah yes whereas this is apabhramshana it nalvinadu uh, nartham that which has okay, slipped okay. away from the original which means paada thavari ponadu ingrom illa yeah not a positive meaning ha huh. uh, so it's more like a corrupted forms whereas okay, okay. mar- uh, means மருவினதுனிக்கிந்தி உத்தர பாரதியாக north indian languages such as hindi etc uh, were born from that kind of uh, transformations the corrupted languages of prakrita corrupted forms of prakrita corrupted forms of prakrita only became various uh, currently spoken north indian languages such as hindi etc mm. um tatha cha prachinataya prachinatamaya sanskrit bhashaya prabhavah மூலத்த உத்தர பாரதியாசு ஆதுனிக்க பாஷாசு போஷகத்வேன திராவிட பாஷாசு நிராகாட்டமபவத் நிராகாட்டமபவத் ஐட்டு நோ பட் அதர் திங்ஸ் அல்லி பிராச்சீனத்தமாஷாயிருத்தாஷாஸ்பிரபாவ effect of that the moolatah uttara bharatiyasu aadhunika bhashasu poshakatvena so it is the um, it's the uh, it nurturing nurtures the, nurtures the, uh, the dravida bhasha just the current uh, north indian languages as the moolatah um, uh, from the root hmm சோ மூல மூலதா ஃப்ரம் த ரூட் பிராச்சீனத்தமாயா சம்ஸ்கிருத பாஷாயா பிரபாவ தி எஃபெக்ட் ஆஃப் சன்ஸ்கிருட் தி ஓல்டஸ்ட் லாங்குவேஜ் இஸ் சீன் சோ நிராகாட்டா சமபவத் விதவுட் எனி டினாயல் சோ ஆகாட்டா இஸ் சம்திங் லைக் ஹிட்டிங் சோ நிராகாட்டா இஸ் இட்ஸ் லைக் விதவுட் இன்ஃப்ளூயன்ஸ் விதவுட் ஸ்ட்ரைக் மேபி you can say niraghatah samabhavat could be an undeniable ex- uh, uh, influence influence uh, undeniable influence for the north indian language north indian uh, whereas it is an undeniable influence in the sense of a poshakatvena as being the character of a something which nurtures so there have been a lot of kodukal uh, vangal ela uh, between uh, the dravida languages and that the san sanskritam ama kodukal vangal na enna solnu a barter ha barter trade trading of uh, uh, words between them yeah haridas ninga padikirala ha sure okay moola bhuta ya sanskrit bhasha ya sahityam Anantam vividham cha asti. So, uh, the uh, literature, Sahityam uh, of Sanskrita, of the Sanskrita Bhasha, which is uh, Moola Bhuta, which is, uh, which is the root of, uh, which, is, which is the root of many other languages, Moola Bhuta, or how do you say this, which is fundamental. Yeah, which is considered as the uh, fundamental or root. Fund- hmm. So, uh, so the Sahityam of this language, Sanskrit Bhasha, which is uh, such a fundamental language, is uh, Anantam Vividham Chasti, is very varied and, and, and endless. It's varied and endless. Ananta Vai Anantaha Vai Vedaha Iti Vedanam Anantyam Amnatam. So the, the, the famous sentence, Anantaha Vai Vedaha, the Vedas are endless. Mm. This is what Iti Vedanam Anantyam Amnatam. Like, uh, in, uh, by this sentence, the uh, the the endless nature or what do you say the um, the endless vedas. endlessness of the vedas has been told proclaimed amnata hmm na ilya na um, na datu amna ya is something that's repeated so am um, mm. so we have to check out the datu amnata okay na only hmm. na na uh, it's mishtarupam i think so amnata mm. has been said 
प्रथमं ऋग्यजुस्सामाथर्वण वेद संहिता प्रकाशिता सो फर्स्ट दि दि वेद संहिता ऑफ द ऋग्यजुस्साम अथर्वण वेदा वॉस वॉस रिवील्ड प्रकाशिता वॉज रिवील्ड The Amnartha is only for Veda, or can that word be used for anything else? Mm, sure. Anything that is traditionally handed down can be used as Amnartha. Like uh, Akshara Samamnaya is the word for the Sanskrit alphabet, right? So when you say mm. alphabet, what do you what is equal in Sanskrit? Samamnaya, Samamnaya, how is Samamnaya by? Okay. Tata. So Akshara Samamnaya, how do you translate it then? The collection of the letters, uh, the alphabet. That which has been handed down traditionally. You will have done a translation. You are not going to do it. So we just say it is the list of aksharas. Amnaya is uh, because in olden days, uh, from uh, like uh, they were saying and other students were repeating it, right? It was right. not turned down. That's why mm. it's called Amnaya, right? Or na am amna tam. Okay. Send. So, okay. Tata eva. Was there a reason that that should be Tata eva, right? Uh, it's okay because it is uh, 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 low par, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. What I mean to say, if I were to say it with the mm. uh, yes, would... tataha eva. So tataha eva, nah, Sanskrit he mool bhuta daivi sampat samprapta. Mm. Therefore, only uh, only thus for us nah uh, iti chaturthi iti maniyatra or our asmakam Sanskrit he. Okay, nah, okay, sashti. Okay, mano meno na hakiti na ha is uh, of as uh, the replacement for asmakam. Asmakam samskriti he mola bhuta daivi sampat samprapta. So the uh, the daivi sampat, the divine wealth, which is mola bhuta, uh, which is fundamental, I... <laughs> has, both, has been obtained. Uh, uh, na samskruti he of our culture. Na samskruti. No, no, no. Tata eva hence na samskruti he mula bhuta daivi sampati samprapta. So our cultures uh, uh, fundamental uh, that that that, okay. that samskrita bhasha which is the mula bhuta for our culture okay. is a daivi sampat is a divine uh, property that has come to us samprapta. Okay, so because... to have that daivi sampat as the vidhe bhava. Ah, ah, ah. So hence the uh, uh, our culture's fundamental divine wealth was obtained. Mm. Was obtained, and because the Vedas were revealed to us, therefore that is divine. In Sanskrit, Brahmanani, Aranyakani, Brahmanani, Aranyakani, Upanishad hai cha. Iti Veda Bhaga. So these are the Veda Bhagas. These are the uh, the four the parts of the Veda, so called mm. the Bhagas. What are they? Brahmana, Aranyak, Upanishad, mm. and some, uh, was Samhita. Already, was already mentioned. So, Samhita, Brahmana, Aranyak, Upanishad. The four are the Veda Bhagas. Shiksha, Kalpa hai, Chanda hai, Niruktam, Vyakaranam, Jyotisham, cha iti Vedangani, Pradura Bhavan. And the uh, the Vedangani, which are the uh, ancillary uh, uh, elements of the Veda, which are the Shiksha, science of pronunciation, Kalpa, the uh, the science of the Shastra, which is with with uh, with, with uh, performing the Yagnas, Chanda, which is the Vedic meters, Niruktam, which is uh, deal, dealing with the etymology of words in the Veda, Vyakaranam grammar, Jyotisham, which is uh, uh, astronomy astrology combined, but more dealing with uh, when to perform the yagas etc mm. uh, these vedangas were pradurabhavan came into being mm. came in uh, tatah kalpa sutrani grihya sutrani dharma sutrani cha maharishi bhi pranitani so uh, then the kalpa sutras or tassa then not the same so either way uh, after that only or after that okay after that the kalpa sutras the grihya sutras the dharma sutras uh, prani uh, where uh, where uh, pranita mm, were written were written. made by that, yeah that mm. made by the maharishis so, pranita the datu here is me only but the upasarga pra 
uh, and uh, the meaning has been changed to uh, writing. Writing. Pranitani. Okay. Alpaksharaihi analpartham suchayanti sutrani. So the sutras uh, convey by means of a limited amount of uh, aksharas analpartham a, a huge uh, amount of information. So the sutra mm -hmm. convey a large amount of information using very limited number of syllables or aksharas. Mm -hmm. So that's what makes a sutram. Sutra granthesu maharshehe paninehe ashtadhyayi nama vyakarna sutra granthaha bharati yarsha vijnanasya buddhi kushalata yascha vijayadhvajah virajate. So, uh, Vijay Dhwajah Virajati. So, the, the, it's, a, it's a flag of victory which 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 uh, shines. shines. It shines. What is this flag of victory that is shining? Vyakara Ashtadhyayi Nama Vyakarna Sutra Granthaha is as if the flag of victory which is shining. Uh, um, uh, flag of victory See. declared Buddhi Kushalata. Buddhi Kushalata Yascha Vijay Dhwajah. Bharati Yarsha Vijnana Sicha Vijay Dvaja. So it is uh, declaring the, uh, the Vijnana, the um, knowledge, science. Uh, the ancient science, Rishina. So it is, ancient. it reco yeah. Okay, the, it the, is the, the victory flag for the ancient Indian the, science and uh, the uh, Kurma. The, 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 the keenness of intellect. Mm. The keenness yeah. of intellect and the. Uh, the, the scientific, uh, the ancient scientific knowledge that belongs to the Bharatiyas, that is well represented by this Vijaya Dhajah. Uh, but that Arsha Vijnana is like Rishi, that hmm. one we have to say. Like, Rishihe uh, idam Arsham, that's what I said, ancient. Hmm. So, uh, so Sutra Granteshu, among the Sutra Granthas, Panini uh, Sashtadhyayi Vyakarana Sutra Grantham hmm. is, uh, shines like the victory flag of the ancient Indian scientific knowledge and of the keen intellect. Yeah, keen intellect. It, so, okay. Asha is not just ancient. Right? It doesn't mean it's a Rishi, uh, prap, Rishi, ta, Rishi, Bihi, Rishi, Biha, Prapta, na, Vijnana, knowledge and all. Correct, it is. But then, usually, it is used to indicate Rishi, uh, Rishi, Idam, Iti, Arsham. But uh, Lakshanaya, you also take it to mean anything that is ancient. Rishi Tulyam Mithi. Oh. So Lakshana, mm. you know, secondary meaning, quantitative meaning. Mm. Yeah. Tataha uh, Manusmritihi, Parashara Smritihi, Yagnyavalkya Smritihi, Ityadaiha, Smriti Granthaha, Virachitaha. So after that, the Smriti Granthas were created. What Smriti Granthas? Manusmritihi, Parashara Smritihi, Yagyanka Smritihi, etc. Ityadaya, Virachitaha. Srimadramayanam, Adikavina, Valmiki Maharshina, Virachitam. So the, the Ramayana was, uh, was created by the first Kavi, famed as one, uh, Valmiki Maharshi. So he is called as the Adikavi. So by the Adikavi Mah Valmiki Maharshi, the Ramayana was created. Mahabharatam, Shri Vedavyasena Maharshina Virachitam. The Mahabharatam, which is the second epic of India, is, was created by Maharishi Vedavyasa. Madhya Atra, mm. um, like there is nothing that can be called as a Kavita in anything from uh, Vedas. Yes, you can. Why? Can, can any of the, any, any portion of Kavita, uh, uh, any content of Veda uh, can be qualified as a Kavita? So, Kavi and Kavita comes from the classical language. Veda, mm -hmm. always you have, it is classified as Rik or Esama or a Yajumshi, which is Gadya Bhaga. So, Rik, the, the meter and shloka kind that is there in the Rig Veda is called Rik. So it's like not even a, even better kavita than the regular kavita that we are used to. Not necessary. Something. There can be both. It can, uh, either way. If you can understand the Vaidikam language, then there is also beautiful. There are beautiful passages in Rigveda or even Samaveda, Ajurveda. Samavedam is mostly made of uh, riks only. Uh, 
there are also lovely passages in uh, the vedas which you can appreciate from there the uh, people have identified the rupa kamma uh, upama and all in vedic languages also uh, vedic uh, verses but as a kavyam where you have used laukika samskritam ramayanam is supposed to have been the first thing so that means we cannot use the term kavita uh, for ravedam no you are not using no, no you okay. don't though if you look at the etymological meaning of kavi uh, that is present even that word is present in uh, uh, veda it is only buddhi ganapati ko bhavama he kavin kavi naam upamashra vastam mm. so, kavi ityukte tatra buddhiman iti ha uh, buddhiman uh, rishi the, the, the word the rishis were considered kavis in that meaning of rishi mm. kavi hi uh, kranta darshi iti yaha margam darshayati sayeva kavi hi iti uh, uchyate that kavi in today's language ad marivi vera unnata ipa kavi ke it is gotten a transformation of meaning today when you say kavi for a reduction yeah. of meaning but, uh, the reduction yeah <laughs> na uh yeah i guess so in a way <laughs> So, okay so yeah so so i think it had a much loftier meaning before but idanin uh, kutras mah ah itihas itihas dvayam correct api idam bharatiya nam vedatulyam bhavati so these two epics which are called as itihasas itihas dvayam both of these are also uh, considered vedatulyam for uh, by the bharatiyas Uh, they considered equivalent to the veda both uh, mm-hmm. both of as as tata hacha why it say why did you say bha- by bharatiya it is like this is bharatiya nam itihasa dvayam idam it's no, not no, no, he said considered he right? just considered that's why so in english it becomes by you know that's english shashti sheshe mahodaye shashti sheshe nam how to take uh, bharatiya nam is uh, you can take it as uh, yeah. what call it uh, uh, swa swa okay. yeah you can say for the bharatiyas it is equal to veda uh, right yeah yeah it's better yeah. to take it as like like that rather than swa swami bhava bharatiya nam itihasa dvayam like your ramasya pustakam eva i mean atra na sangachana asti evam so yeah. by actually that veda tulyam can be for non bharatiyas also can consider those two as veda tulyam akam paatah tu why not we are all huh. non bharatiyas here sitting in america and talking about it so it's okay yeah. <laughs> astu astu 1942 mahode right 45 level you have to look at the time in which it was written astu ah <laughs> so before it apo ellame idu vasudeva kutumbakam ityeva atra eva <laughs> तत्र भारतीय है मानसिक स्थिति अष्टादशपुराणीता so then uh, in going down this list of literature that i have after that the 18 puranas were uh, created were written down or were given to us were brought out by vedavyasa maharshi among whom esha madhye bhagavatam the bhagavata purana atyuttamam pariganyate is considered to be the most excellent mm. okay we i think there is the next paragraph is a little big we'll do it next class okay. 